Start over. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's your boy, Crazy One. Hey, everybody. Uh, with your girl, T.E.Q. Hey. And, um, Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we, we tried to um, eliminate the talking during the intro, bleeding through the intro, um, so we mute the mics, and then um, because I have to play the audio engineer... Um, as well as the technical engineer while being on camera. I forgot to mute the mic. Unmute the mics. So we good. We good. We good. We good. Okay. So we got uh we got we they're starting already. Yes. Um, so already welcome starting. to Game of Thrones Talk on Theater Hoppers. Yes. We will be doing this for each and every episode right after uh Game of Thrones. We're gonna come here live and we're gonna talk about Game of Thrones, the first episode. Ooh. Um is there a name of the episode? Um because they didn't have a name of the episode. I don't think there was a name of the episode. So I... we're just gonna call it uh episode one, season eight, episode one. Um no name of the episode, but we know that John Stark has returned to Winterfell yes. and he has brought along two armies with him, the Unsullied and the Dothraki. Two full-grown dragons, Ooh. and um, a lot to take in. Even though he doesn't know it, he's saying, "Hi, Auntie." Yeah, <laughs> there were some things that we found out at the end um, of season seven, the last episode. Um, we found out some things about John that um, I think it sort of lingered through that it was more he was more than what it seemed, uh -huh. but we wasn't quite sure, and then we found out. Um, that there's a lineage and there's something behind yes. him um, that this whole love affair thing that it cannot happen. So so <laughs> Jon Snow thinking happen. that he was a, a Stark um, found out that he's not technically a Stark, but he... Jon Snow. Jon Snow, yes. Do I say John Stark? John Stark. Oh, I'm thinking basketball. My bad. John Stark. <laughs> no. John Snow, John Snow thinking that he's a Stark uh, but find out that he actually he is a Stark, just not on the end that he right. thought that he was in. Um, so it was Daenerys's brother, right, who is actually the Mary father, too, right, of Jon Snow, which is kind of crazy because that makes Daenerys's aunt, and it yeah. makes Jon Snow the true heir of the Seven Kingdoms. Yes, that's crazy. I was, I, you know how. Overall, everyone wanted John to be the king. Uh -huh. We just didn't know how he was going to get there. Well, we still don't know if he's well, going to get there. I think he is. I don't think, I mean, I, I hope so. This this war is 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 sort of rubbing me the wrong way. With, uh, with Cersei doing backstabbing folk and... Cersei's doing Cersei things. Yeah, well, we knew she was going to end up not doing what she said because that's who she is. Um... But I want to know how she comes out on top. She promised well, the, that she would send her army. We know that she's not sending her army. Right. Um, but, again, it, this is all about what um, Tyrion was telling Jon. Can you just lie, tell them what they want to hear, um, and so that we can at least get the result that we want? Jon gives us hope that there are some good people. Right. But he's also letting it, laying it out on the a, on a, on a field that he's as gullible and naive as people would perceive him to be. And Again, still giving us hope that there are some honest people that says, yes, I mess up, yes, I make wrong decisions. You're looking at it from a moral compass. And yeah, from a, but from a story standpoint, all right, even when he came back to Winterfell, the young lady, I forgot what her name is, um, but she said, well, you left the king and you came back. I don't, I don't know, know what. what. You came back. <laughs> like, I was like, it's, yo. <laughs> it's, it's like... Over this, over this knee, in which Jon John Snow exuberates the 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 mentality and the uh, attributes of a king. I will lay down everything that I have to protect my people. That is the true attribute of a king. I agree. So some of the people in uh, in the chat room says uh, uh, that everybody. Wayne says everybody died. We don't have to have Wayne come in one day. Everybody dies, and the Greyjoys rule. No. I, I, I don't more. think the Greyjoys have enough brains to rule no. like that. I don't think they have. They don't have. To me, they don't. They're not. They're not ruler type. I don't know if that's the kind of. That's well, the word I'm looking it's for. It's not even that because the one thing that people are not counting on, the one thing that people are discounting, is the intelligence of the Night King. All right. Yes. He knew. Yeah. How to destroy the dragon. Yeah. He knew how to turn the dragon. He also knew 
how to break through the wall. Now, what's to say that he doesn't bust in to the uh, and take over? Let's just say, let's just say that he does win the battle of uh, the Battle of Winterfell, right? They got a whole bunch of ships that they came in on. Right. Remember, the Targaryen army, they sailed um, to the land before they went to Winterfell. So what's to say that he doesn't go and learn how to um, learn how to get ships? Some of those uh, some of those people that he killed as part of his army, they were sailors. They were, you know, they right. they well, operate. yeah, they can't swim, but they can show enough sail. They operate. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. They operate in whatever they ever, whatever it was when they were alive. That's what they operate on. Some people ride on horses. Some people are, are fighting with spears. Some people are fighting with swords and knives. Whatever it was that they were operating in when they were human, they are now operating as a White Walker. So you don't know what, what the, the, uh, what the skill set are, is. Right. Of it. They might not be able to swim because of their skin and bones. But I, Listen, if that uh, dragon can fly with holes in his wings, uh, they can swim. But, like, <laughs> They can't swim. I, I don't believe they can swim. But again, the intelligence factor. You don't have to swim, but you know, you can get a boat. Yeah. Okay. You can get a boat. That's the that's the thing. Uh, Brian uh, made the point uh-huh. that Cersei didn't get her elephants. And she was really upset because she wanted elephants. Well, she got her trunk. Yeah, she got her trunk, <laughs> but she wanted elephants. She didn't get her elephants, but she got her trunk. She wanted elephants. <laughs> and, 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 with, and with baby brother going off to the other side, uh, you know. But she's she, by herself now. Right. She's by herself, and just like any other woman, what do you do when you're by yourself? Well, see, it's not even that. I think that, she, I think that Cersei ends up becoming the Mad King. Yeah, I can I see. Well, she she's already the, the Mad King. Well, mad no, queen. but not, re- but not really, because her mentality is that I'm going to let them fight it out, and I'm going to be left. Pick up the bones. Right, I'm going to be left. However, and I'm live. if the White Walkers win that battle, they're coming it. south, just like uh, her brother said. They're going to come once. It, once the war is over, if the White Walkers win, they're coming south. Right. If the Northerners win, they're going to remember that we betrayed them. And come south. But see, so here's either the thing. way, the the gamble is that the Northerners win, because if the Northerners win, they'll be decimated in numbers. True. That's the gamble. True. That's the gamble. But she's also she does it. She's taking the dragons for granted. Yes, she's, I believe I do believe that she's taking the dragons for granted. She's taking. The but don't they still have granted. that um that thing that killed the first dragon, the harpoon thingy, the the crossbow. They didn't kill a dragon. I mean, it, who killed the first dragon? The White Walk, the Night King did. Okay, I thought no, but they killed. They shot him down, though. They shot him down. They don't. They, they still they have that it. though. They pierced them. But don't they still have that? But the crossbow, the humongous crossbow. Yeah, that, but only one person knows how to work it. Okay. Got so you. that's that's the thing. Um, that crossbow that that was used by. Go ahead. So there's a question. Uh huh. Um. There's a question, Wayne. Uh. Wayne said, "Do you guys even know what made the mad guy? What the mad? What made the mad king go mad?" Uh, that's way back in. I don't. I, I if it's there, back, I don't remember it what was, the reason was. It, it what it, it was. I believe it was paranoia that made him. Um, that made him mad. And the, Jamie told the story. I think it's season one or season two. Of why? Uh, of, of why? why because the reason why Jamie has the moniker Kingslayer is because he's the one that killed the mad king. Because right. he was like, listen, we're just going to kill everybody. Right. And, and before was, that, so got to that, Jamie right. came. Yeah, so I, I don't remember the story behind the Mad King. Um, that's um, a little bit of research that's going to have to get done uh, with that. But Jamie knows. Jamie told that story of how and why. And it was a whole bunch of warnings for Jeffrey, for Joffrey. Right. Because when Joffrey was exuberating that same, um, that same, um, Those same mentality, that same attributes, yeah. but then also Joffrey was an incest child, so anything yeah. can happen. Anything can anything happen. Anything can happen. Um, and I think that's why I'm a little nervous about. Um, I'm a little nervous about uh, Cersei, and not Cersei, uh, Khaleesi and John. Uh huh. We know they've been. Um, they know each other now. They've been intimate. What if a child is Why created out of that? Terms? They got I, it on. 
They, yeah, they, 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 they know each other. That's why, I said, my, that's why I said it like probably that. Probably more than that. Stop talking to biblical terms. <laughs> they know each other. Um, this ain't church. But because of that, if there's a child created from that, uh -huh. there may be an issue. Now, somebody said in the chat room that um, John doesn't even want to be king. And I, I agree. He doesn't really care if he's king or not. Well, it's, it's not that he doesn't want to be king. It's, again, he's concerned more for the welfare of his people than he is about a title. And that's the thing. That's, that's actually the, the attribute of a real king. When you say that, listen, I don't care about my selfish gain because there's a whole lot of selfish gain going on. And right. that's why, like, you're, you're seeing, like, we don't know the motivations be behind the Night King. We know the motivations behind Cersei. And we also know the motivations behind um, Khaleesi because she is, like, she is slowly starting to, like, she's starting to feel herself. Yeah, and I think, I, I think that's going to that's gonna separate her and John. I honestly think that's going to separate her well, I think and John. the truth is going to separate those Yeah, two. but because um, Sam said it. Sam said, you know, you gave up your crown for your people. Right. Is she willing to do the same thing? Is she willing to do what it takes to keep her people safe? Right. And the ult the ultimate question is yes, but not without laying her not with laying her crown down. That's, that's going to be the, the thing, big difference. Cuz I think in her head it's um I fought so hard to get this position to know to for people to know who I am. Yep. And that's been her mentality through the all of the seasons. Yeah, I fought sure. I fought so hard to get where I am that I'm not giving this up. Um, Ed said, John knows the truth, so he better speak the truth next week. Something tells me he's going to keep that info close to, close to, I think he's not going to let it out. I don't think he's going to, I don't gonna, think he's going to let it out I don't either. think he's going to let it out. First of all, it's going to cause too much confusion. Um, and it's going to cause too much confusion, especially with all of their, um, their people coming to Winterfell, uh -huh. with everybody coming to Winterfell. It's, it will be entirely too too much confusion. Time and place. Time and place are so important when it comes down to those kind of details because with Jon Snow actually knowing the truth, um, with, with that happening, if he starts now, if he goes to Daenerys now and starts saying, hey, listen, um, we just got some new information and it's unproven information because the, um, the books are back at the Citadel Right. And Bram knows, Bram but knows. that's it. But I think, and you, we said it watching the last episode of season seven, that Tyrion knows too. Yes. I think Tyrion knows. When you knows. go back to that scene on the boat, when Jon goes to Daenerys' quarters on the boat, and they yeah. have that little hot and steamy moment. I and think Tyrion knows. Tyrion was sitting there looking at it, and he had a little bit, he didn't have like a thing of, yeah, that's my king and queen. No, he had like, kind of a look of, worried and a I, didn't, I, I don't know, say, know how this is going to turn concerned. out. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out. Is this a good idea? Is right. this And then um through the episode they mentioned that it would be a good thing after the war if there was a union from this. Right. And he never he never questioned it then. He was just like, yeah, maybe it could work. Yeah, maybe it could work. Yeah, maybe it could work. And so that um I think that Tyrion knows, or he has some kind of idea that there's something else, there's something more to this story. Yeah, um, Wayne says that Tyrion, def Tyrion definitely knows. I believe that Tyrion definitely knows, um, but it still has to be something in writing. And I think with Daenerys killing um, Sam's family, I think yeah. some kind is going to be a revenge part. Now he has some motivation, in which I don't get that because Sam's father. Um, Sam was fighting for approval from his father all of his life. Right. All right. He but it's, was still, sent, it's still his father. He was sent to the wall because you know, it, it's like sending your child to the army because they kept messing up. He was like, I'm going to have them make a man but out of you. But it's still his father. I, man, listen. It's still his listen, father. You and you have to look at... You done treated me second class all this time. All right. No, you Oh, have... you, you burnt them because they treated you the same way that they was treating me? You have to. He's still his still his father. Um, one thing, it was funny because while we were watching, one thing I thought about was my mother always said that two grown women couldn't live in the same house. Mm. So when, uh, <laughs> when Cersei, so we got a when, good Khaleesi, going on. when Khaleesi and uh, Sansa uh -huh. was going at it at the table, I was like, oh, here we go. Well, they didn't we, go at it. They didn't go at it. They, they got more tact than that. They they let themselves be known that I'm not going anywhere. Right. This is, I, I can stand my ground, chick. I'm not, I'm here. I'm the queen. 
And she said it. If she can't, she doesn't have to be my friend. The quote, I didn't come for her to be my friend. The quote of that scene, what do dragons eat anyway? <laughs> Whatever, Whatever they, they want. want. <laughs> Whatever they want. <laughs> there were so in this episode there were so many uh really quick uh I don't know what to call them, quips. Uh-huh. The word is quips. There were so many quick, witty, witty things in there. When Cersei um was going yeah. from and she said, If you want a whore, buy it. If you want a queen, earn it. I'm gonna see that tomorrow on somebody's Facebook page. Somebody's gonna take that, and I'm gonna yeah. see it tomorrow. Wayne made a good um, point that it wasn't. He was cool with his father being burnt when when he said his father, you know, was like, you know, he wouldn't bend the knee, and he was like, all right, that's cool. Dad treated me like crap anyway. But my, but my brother, yeah. So his brother is what messed him up, and I agree with you, Wayne, on that one. I think it was the brother that messed him up. Is you know the the Tony Stark thing. He was like. He didn't say, yo, you killed my father. He was like, he killed my mother. mother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I I get what you're saying with that one, Wayne. That's a good point. Um, but yes, the the dragons eating thing, that was a show of force yeah. from Daenerys to Sansa. Yeah. All right. And Sansa, There was a lot of people putting their stakes in the ground and saying, okay, this is where we stand. I think this episode showed a lot of whose side are you on? Well, it's more of a, it's not more of a who's side are you on because everybody right now is on the side of life. All True. Right? But it's the question of who they're going to take orders from. That's what we're, that's what we're talking about. And this is like, this is brewing, not even in King's Landing. This is brewing in Winterfell. Winterfell, yeah. So. Because ain't nobody, ain't nobody, don't nobody know about what's going on except for Cersei. No, uh, and yeah, King's you're Landing. Right. You're right. Nobody knows. The people don't know. Because right. if the people knew, they would probably be trying to figure something out. Well, you, you saw if if anybody was watching HBO before, you know, kind of getting ready, HBO was doing a marathon of the last season of Game of Thrones. So if you, we were watching straight from, oh, I was watching from the last two episodes. The last two episodes. On, I watched we, the last one. So you watched the last one. And when they had the meeting, when they brought the White Walker into her, and it was like, this could be the fate of all your people. Yeah. And it was like, for some of them, it could be an improvement. Yeah. You know, so that there, was her. He was, she wasn't. She, she's not concerned who's about the chief, that at all. Who's the chief at Winterfell? It's Sansa. No, it's not. Who, it's yeah. technically John. Well, it's John. It, John is, yeah, because he's, when he's not there. Sansa she, took over as right. Lady of Winterfell because he when was he gone. went to go. Right. So, so technically he came speaking. Back. Yeah. It, but when he came back. Sansa was still giving out the orders because he no longer has his authority anymore. Well, he has his authority per he has his authority per se, but Khaleesi he, because he bent the because he's he still head of Winterfell. It doesn't matter. Khaleesi is there. Uh, of course, she outranks him as queen. But why do you have lords? Why do you have dukes? Because I agree. The, because the queen or the king says this is your territory. That was Ned Stark's territory. So even he is with, the Lord of Winterfell. Even yes, with Robert Baratheon being a king, you still go to nothing happens without Ned Stark having or at least So in that case, yes. Uh John is the Lord of Winterfell. Right. And Sansa right under him. Uh Arya could care less. Arya, <laughs> Arya don't care. <laughs> But Arya, just don't mess with my family. But Arya, I'm good. Arya, just don't mess Arya, with my family. Arya, Arya's smelling herself now. She's sitting oh, there yeah. flirting with the flirting with the blacksmith yeah. now. She's, you know what I'm saying? She's like, I, hey. I think we're gonna see some uh, a love interest with her. I think. Um, I think that's gonna. I think that's gonna go real quick. What do you mean? I think because you can't get attached to anything in this um, thing. But you can't get attached to anything in this series. Any relationship. Every relationship, there, there was, there has not been one successful relationship in this entire series. Where somebody did end up dead. You're yeah. absolutely right. Somebody gonna die. Not one. <laughs> somebody gonna when, die. When John had a thing for the White Walker. I mean, for, for the, the, yeah, for, uh, the redhead. For, the Wildland. Yep. Yeah, who is actually his real life wife. Really? Yes. They I got, didn't know that. They got married this summer. Um, I so, didn't know that. Yeah. So when he had a thing for her, she did. <laughs> I, I think Arya is starting to chill out. Because her, yes, but before this season, <laughs> Arya needs her own show. I, I, I agree. Um, before this season, yes, she was cold because she was in survival mode. Yeah, she's no longer in survival mode. But she still, she, yes, she still got her guard up. I'm not saying she still, yeah. she don't have her guard up. Yes, she does. And then when she saw the hound, it was like, yo, I'm, I, that just brought her all the way back. But I think she's starting to soften up because. 
she's at home. She's feeling more comfortable. John's there. Sansa there. Um, she's feeling more com more com comfortable where she well, is. You know, it's it, for her. It's a sense of accomplishment because her entire story arc, way back from season one, was getting back to her siblings. Yeah. All right. And she getting, did it. Getting to her mother when she and, and it was like when she thought when we had that moment when she got to uh when she got to the car starts um or it's not the car starts um shoot um is the, the the scene of the wet wedding mm -hmm. all right she got there she saw rob start she saw her mom yeah she was and then she was she was ecstatic. like yay i'm here i made it i made it back to and my then what the yeah yeah that was <laughs> Um, somebody said, a uh, quote said, uh, Bram is pulling everybody, everyone's card. Yes, Bram has an advantage because he can see <laughs> everything. Rachel, you hit it right on the money. Um, the eunuch said that nothing lasts. And she said that's why they keep, they you know, keep respect the, as, a, uh, yep. as a distance keeper. Because we are a reminder that nothing lasts. That they're going to get, oh, their age, their everything, nothing lasts. And that's, that's really, really true. And yes, Bram is pulling everybody's card because he can see. He can see in the future, but I like the way they have his character going. He doesn't say too much. Mm -hmm. He's learned, you know, with that whole maturity thing, that whole wisdom thing that I'll give you bits and pieces, but you got to figure out your own way. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say, you know, what's going on. I'm just going to, like he said, he sat there and saw Sam come out. Mm -hmm. He sat there and he was like, well, what are you doing here? He's like, well, I'm waiting on a friend. Well, the thing is, he's not entirely human anymore. He's a three-eyed raven. So he's not going to speak in completeness <laughs> the phrase, thank you, Wayne. The phrase is when when uh, when the Starks were at the phrase when they were supposed to have right. the wedding, and that's where Aria, thank you, Wayne. Um, I don't have my laptop here, so I don't have the That's the what, that's to... what uh, Brian said, Dre reads IMDb all day. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I actually have mine up now, so that's... No, I just have a really good memory when it comes down to a good story. I yes. love a good story. He does. Um, but, yes, yeah, so we have... Um, so we have Bram, who is the Three-Eyed Raven, so he's not completely human. So even when, you know, you saw John saw Bram for the first time since season one. Yeah. For the very first time, it took him eight daggone seasons to get back to them. And he was so... He hugged he him and just like... Him. Wait, you're a man. Why aren't you? No, he was like, why aren't you? He looked at him like, why aren't you happy to see me? Right. Because he said, you're a man. He was like, well, almost. Because he's not him anymore. He doesn't have that emotion. The only thing that he can see is the truth. The truth of the past, the truth of what's now, and the truth of what's to come. So there's a question. Um, yeah. Quote said, I don't remember um, why the king killer pushed, why uh, Cersei's brother, uh -huh. Jamie. Lannister, Jamie Lannister, pushed Bram out the window. Was it because he saw him and his sister getting it on? First season, can't remember. Yes. Yes, that is exactly That is what, the reason why. Because what happened was, at the time when he saw that, Cersei was still the queen of Robert Baratheon. Right. So if he saw Jamie and Cersei up in the tower doing a thing, they weren't supposed to be doing a thing. And th also it goes to the point that if he saw that, it confirmed Ned Stark's um, uh, position that his kid, that Robert Baratheon's kids were not, were not his kids right. because they were all... It confirmed a lot of things. Confirmed a and lot you of know things. what's funny about that one episode? Mm -hmm. So funny. Before I act, before he actually convinced me to watch the whole season, that was the only episode I ever saw. Oh, and wow. I saw that part and I was like, what foolishness is this? And turned it and didn't watch it for like... I think by the time I started watching it, it was like into the fourth or fifth season. Yep. And then I just crammed the whole thing and been watching it ever since. So yeah, that that is the reason why. Um, that's the reason why he pushed him out the window. So when he said he was sitting there to to see an old friend, uh -huh. I was like, it only could be one person. No, I, it could have been a whole lot of people because they. Oh they yeah. Whole, they met a whole lot of people through his travels, but you didn't know who he was because he speaks in incompletes, right. and he speaks in incompletes. Basically, it's a story beat. It's there to build suspense. But he speaks in incompletes because he has so much information that he's processing, that right. he's looking at, that it, it's, he can only give so much at one time. Plus, I, I don't know if there is an unwritten duty to say, I can give you enough, but not all. You know, I, I think that's a good thing um, because it keeps, like you said, it keeps us in suspense of what's going to happen next or what is he going to divulge next? Who is he going to tell what or what part of 
who, what part of whose story we don't know that he knows. Right. But it's also it's also part of revealing the truth. And, that, and I think that's his primary purpose is to reveal the truth. Because if you remember with Littlefinger, mm-hmm. all right, when they uh, when he when he got caught out, he just said one simple line. Chaos is a ladder. And when he said chaos is a ladder, he was like, whoa. I, that that was a private conversation that right. was only between two people. How did you find right. that out? You know, right. so he can that that's his. I think that's his primary role right now is to 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 bring the truth to things and make sure everybody tells the and truth. not to just give the <laughs> details and say this is what you because if he can see into the future, why is it he <clears throat> telling people like who's gonna win? Right, like they how do they find out that? The but mo- I don't think I don't I don't I'm my, I'm like you. I think his his job is only to go so far. Um, with the information that he knows. <laughs> when he said, um, "Who didn't jump off the um, jump off jump off their couches when the um, boy screamed?" Well, first off, I saw the boy open his eyes. Open his eyes. Yeah, I saw. We saw that part, and I was yeah. like, "Okay, he's not." They dead. kept Something's him in frame. Happening. They kept him out of focus, and they showed him opening his eyes. And also, <clears throat> if you look at, if you go back and watch that imagery. The symbol that they, uh, the symbol that they left mm-hmm. on the wall with the arms the and arms. the legs, yep. with their arms. They were arms. The, the symbol that they left on the wall with him in the center and the arms going into that little spiral. That is the same exact symbol that they left in the very opening shot of season one. So when you saw, can I tell you something? What? Only you remember that. <laughs> what? what do you mean? Only, only I remember you that. Remember. Only you can remember that. Because we got people in the chat talking about they don't even remember what happened in season one. I couldn't have never thought about, I would have never thought about Listen, that. When it comes down to imagery, I always point I, it out because it's going to come up later. For instance, when, so when, the, when the dead army broke through the wall, they were walking in a pattern. And, yeah, I remember they that. They were walking in a pattern. There were certain circles, there were certain things that were in that in that group where they could have just been marching in a and straight if, yeah, line marching or marching in their formation. They were walking in a pattern. Go back and watch it and see what kind of pattern it is. It could be a clue. But... <laughs> Quote said, how did you remember that? Because <laughs> I, I... No, who... Unless they see, sat and watched the whole you, Wayne, season. Thank you, Wayne. Of course, Wayne knows. Because yes. Wayne probably rewatched the whole season, too. Oh, why Collider getting on there? Uh, Collider's doing their uh, same thing that we're doing right now. <laughs> Don't go to Collider, y'all. Stay here. <laughs> go watch that later. Um, more fun. Rachel says you remember it. The body's in the snow. Thank you, Rachel. Um, so, yeah. So, the, you got to watch those imagery because that means something. In shows and, like this, yes, it does. And when but he, when I'm eight seasons in, I, I just really but you didn't. Have to, you gotta I didn't remember, remember that. At that point, they were only showing the White Walkers in spurts. Like they, they the White Walkers yeah. didn't have any art because they had to set up the rest of the story, the rest right. of the people, the rest of the houses to get to this point. But the very opening shot was the dead guy in the thing, and then the the, the trail of bodies in the snow in that same exact spiral um, connection. I think I'm gonna have to go back and watch season one because so, I don't I don't remember that. But, all right, uh, episode two, which is going to be the Battle of Winterfell. Yes, what are we expecting? What, what are we expecting? What are we expecting? What, what, do our, what, are, what are our anticipations? Um, I hope that there are some ground rules to um, Winterfell, who does what in Winterfell. Because right now there's a lot of chiefs. There's a lot of people saying, okay, this is this. They're trying to decide who to follow. Where to, Not who, really. Yeah, they are. Not really, no. Because everybody, everybody knows that you're listening to one of three people, Sansa, John, or Daenerys. And the whole point between the the hands that are going on and the advisors is that they're trying to get John to find a way to get the people to say, "Listen, we you trust, have to yeah. trust Daenerys." All right, if you if you did, if you lost your faith in me, all right, I need you to get that. I need you to have faith in me that I'm following <clears throat> the right person. I think um, I'm a little worried about um, the dragons. Because she, they mentioned that the dragons weren't eating enough because they don't like the north and they don't like being cold, being in the cold. So I'm a little nervous about that um, with the war c- about to come. So they're weakening. They're getting weak. They're right. getting weaker. So I'm a little worried about that. Who's getting weaker? The dragons. Oh no no they're, they're not. They're not getting weaker. They just they're out of their environment. 
They're out of their environment. They're from the desert. They're from the heat. So they're again, in the I'm still get, I'm I'm getting a little nervous about them uh -huh. because I don't know if that means again that they're getting weaker because they're not eating as much. So if they're not eating as much, because they may not be. A, it's like a puppy or a dog when you put them in a new environment. They're going to be sheltered in, until they become comfortable in their new environment. Um, um, Wayne, is, episode three is uh, Battle of Winterfell, but if you stuck around, you know, Game of Thrones does that whole uh, upcoming next week. They tease that battle next week. Yeah, but next week is going to be the in, the the... The, the trial of Jamie Lannister because he oh. showed up and he showed up in Winterfell and that is not the best place for him to show up right now well because uh, Khaleesi is there and they know that he is one of the pivotal people who who had Ned Stark killed so for him to come back to Winterfell there's gonna be a humongous that's gonna be center I think next uh, well, episode is really gonna Daenerys, be season. Daenerys is not gonna have too much to do with this because two words Tyrion Lannister. Tyrion Lannister and Jaime Lannister are like this. I don't I care. I agree, but 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 the Stark kids are not going to let him get off that easy. The Stark kids might not let him get off that easy, but Bram, again, knows the truth. Bram called Jaime Lannister an old friend. All right, so with Jaime Lannister being there, um, <laughs> <laughs> that comes out the week of the <laughs> Um, um, Quote said, all we need to see if John resistant to fire. So what? <laughs> if John is resistant to fire. Because <laughs> then he might be, if he can do it, I mean. John but, died near White Walker himself. I mean, right. uh, he was brought back from the fire. So the, the Lord of Light brought him back. Right, that is right. Yeah. I remember that. And what happened to her? That whole crew. No, no, because they have, what's the, yeah, where is the Why? Red Yeah, where is the Red Witch? The Red Witch. Where is she at? Wayne, where's the Red Witch? <laughs> Wayne or no? Oh, uh, my phone died. Your phone so my, just died. Yeah. So um, uh, my watch party is uh my watch party is dead, so I can't see. Can you pull up my watch party on the um, thing? Uh, so yeah, we're gonna wrap this up. So um the trial of Jamie Lannister is going to be uh next week, but they yeah. did tease the battle of yes, Winterfell in that. Um so we know that the battle is imminent. We saw that. Um, the Wildlings and some of the Night's Watch have um, have survived the attack on the wall. They said she, she um, went back home. She went back home. Okay. Okay. We really wanted to know where um, where she went, where where she, what happened to her. Yeah. Because I think she would be pivotal, especially during this war. He hurt Bram, but um, and Jamie's the reason that Bram can't walk. But Bram still addressed him as an old friend. Right. And because Bram, you have to understand that Bram doesn't have Bram's emotions anymore. Right. Bram is only considered. He's only worried about the truth, and that's it. If somebody's been redeemed through some sort of moral uh, uh, experience or whatever, Bram will stick up for that, even though what happened yeah. happened. Whatever they did, they did. Yeah. Okay, but right now your moral compass is good, so we're gonna. And you have to also. You have to understand that um, there's two things that can kill White Walkers. I mean, three things that can kill White Walkers. The fire. Fire. Dragon glass, glass and Valyrian steel. Right. And Jamie is the only other person outside of Brianna Tar who has Valyrian steel. Arya does. Arya does. And John. And John. Okay. And though, so it's just the yeah. four. And plus, Brianna Tar is she's in Winterfell, so yeah. I think yeah, she she's is. Okay. she's there. So she's in Winterfell as well. Because she's stuck to. Uh, so Jamie is gonna have a, quite a defense team. Uh, when it comes down to this trial, if it comes down to it. I said, man, listen, once the Starks find out they hurt his brother, it's on. Yeah, it is, but you got to understand that uh, that outside of Sansa and Arya, John has a tremendous amount of understanding. Yeah. Bram is not in his emotions anymore. And then you still have, um, you still have Tyrion and you still have Brienne. And um, Brienne's um, ward. Right. So oh, yeah, yeah, that is right. I forgot about Brienne's ward is there. So there's a whole bunch of there's a whole bunch of people that can sit there and be like, listen, we understand what this man did, but he came here on his own volition, and he came here to help. 
So I think we have to listen to what he has to say, and I think that's what's going to happen there. They, they're they going to have to listen to what he has to say. Um, Ed said they, they better go find more dragon glass. I think they're set. They have... Um, they came back with mounds. They came back with a whole with bunch mounds of it. And if you and watch mounds of dragon glass. towards the end where Arya went to um, see the blacksmith, they were making, they made the axe yeah. for the hound um, of the dragon. Yeah, the the, dragon you, glass. Saw them, you saw them carting yeah. barrels and, and, and wagons and, and uh, a whole bunch of carts full of dragon glass. They, were, they brought a whole bunch of it with them. So they have more than enough dragon glass to, to, uh, to arm an army. I don't think Bran's going to be doing the fighting, but I think he's going to have a hand in the uh, strategies. The strategic part of it, um, where they go, um, how they how they fight, I think he's going to have a lot to do with that. Yeah. I, because he, again, he can see the future, so he, you know, he'll know where, um, he'll know where. All right. So, guys, listen. Thank you for tuning in. Next week is going to be on right here on Theater Hoppers. All right. We are going to uh, be talking about Game of Thrones episode two. Don't forget to catch a couple plugs here while we while we got while we're uh, on um, Tuesday at seven o'clock p.m. If you are a sports fan, yes. tune in to the starting five. The starting five is a crazy live um, sports talk show. We'll be talking about the sports that happen throughout the week and projecting into um, the future with the NBA playoffs going on. Yes. Um, and then on Thursday, we have our regular Theater Hopper show where we're going to be talking about uh, whatever is going on in the movie, movie verse news. and movie news and all that good stuff is going to be happening. So don't um, make sure if you do not like the page, like the page Theater Hoppers. If you're on my personal watch party, go ahead and uh, hop over to the source link of this, which is the Theater Hoppers page. Like the page and make sure that you're staying up to date. And also, we're talking. We're gonna be talking a lot about news that happened at Star Wars Celebration. Yes. Um, any of the new uh, movie news is that that's coming out without within the week because we are heading into summer blockbuster time, which means we're getting closer to Avengers Endgame. We're getting closer to The Lion King. We're getting closer to a whole lot of good movies that we're going to be talking about projecting. And um, <laughs> when you are not getting a throne share. No. You're not doing it. We're not putting yeah, well, it down no. here. No. I, I can't. No. I'm not getting one in here. <laughs> no. That, <that's... laughs> you, you would know, ask that. <laughs> Wayne, you know good and well, you bring that chair in here, George going to want to sit in it. George going to want to sit in it. <laughs> so, guys, come back next week. All right? Thank you again for uh, for hanging out with us tonight. And we will see you next week for the Game, Game of Thrones Talk. And we will see you Thursday here on Thursday. Theater Hoppers, and make sure you check out Starting 5, Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, I'm Dre, that's TQ, and remember, we have the theaters, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to.